is 5G. So is 5G required for India? So I would like to hear from all of you. So you can type your answer. You can say yes or no, but you should give a reasoning. So you can't just say it is required. Yes or no. You just can't say that you have to say why it is required or why it is not required. Okay. That way we can understand. Okay. What exactly you are thinking? So don't worry about what is the right answer or the wrong answer. It does not matter. It is just your opinion. Okay. Let me see what answers I'm getting in. Okay, high connectivity will make driverless car. Okay, saying not required for everyone. Speed and faster connectivity in between access in remote locations. Okay, good. High speed mobile services. Someone is saying faster data transfer and data driven technology. You should think from uh, Indian perspective. Okay, so you should say why it is required for India. Depends on application for mobile phone user. Good 4G, industrial and commercial purpose, okay. Machine to machine communication, minimum latency, fastest serving speed. Yes, for the advancement of communication and data transmission. It is to use, uh, it is used for making many things autonomous. Okay, I'm reading the answers. Okay, I'm reading the answers from the chat window. 5G is required in India uh, because mobile data con consumption is rising. Data is the new oil, very good used for real time applications it's required for fast access so someone is saying no sir it is not required uh, we could use the 4g 4g is pretty good so 4g is sufficient is someone's uh, opinion so it looks like most of them are saying almost all are saying uh, yes except for one person who is saying 4g is sufficient okay that's a correct answer too those who are saying yes is also a correct answer because they have given some reasoning here Okay, so um, I'm happy that you know all of you are uh, all of you are sharing your answers. You are telling me what you think. So that is a good start. So um, some of many of you have said that it is required. It is the latest technology. It's for data transfer and all that. So let's let's look at what is 5G. So this session I have divided into two sections. So one is we'll look at what is 5G, and then we'll also understand the applications. Okay, of 5G. So let us start about learning about 5G. Okay. So some key things to know. First thing is about 5G rollout in India. I'm sure that all of you are aware that uh, 5G is already rolled out in India. So I just pasted uh, some, you know, press releases. Uh, this is from Reliance Geo. So if you see that in Reliance Geo, you know, back in January, they were saying that they've already rolled out in uh, four more cities and, you know, they have grown to 72 cities. And by end of December, they are, they're planning to cover every town and taluk in India. Okay. So that's what they are saying. Okay. This is from Reliance Geo. Similarly, the other uh, operator is Airtel. So this is again their press release. So they are saying that they have already covered 125 cities and they're going to go to uh, you know, 265 countries, uh, 265, uh, 265 cities in the country. Okay. So already this is the rollout. And so 5G is quickly rolling out. Uh, and these are the two major carriers uh, who have rolled out or offering 5G in India. Okay, so this is the next slide. So what you can see here is this is the expected 5G penetration in 2025. So what this means is it tells you what are the percentage of connections uh, by each country. So if you see that India is in the top 10 uh, list of countries. So this is the penetration that they are expecting that by 2025. What will be the percentage of uh, 5G connections? If you can take all the you know mobile connections, 5G will be about 11% by 2025. That seems uh, small, but if you actually look at um, how 4G and 3G entered India, so if you look at uh, now, right now we are in 2023. So within 2025, that, that is within two years, going to 11% is a big thing. Uh, so that is quite fast for a technology uh, to move into India. So I'm, I'm the founder of uh, company DTRI. So it's an upskills company. Uh, where we do embedded systems, IoT and 5G technology certification programs. And we also do placement for uh, engineering students. 
So you can contact us. So there is a website that you can visit ttri.in. You can also connect through, you can send me an email or you can also uh, send WhatsApp message on this number if you have any questions. So please join our LinkedIn group. So you can type uh, Deshila Technology Research Institute on LinkedIn and you can join our um, page there. And you can also ask questions there and also about any new events that we are conducting. So we frequently update this page with our events. And just to give you a quick glimpse of uh, you know, what we are doing in terms of research. So, um, yeah, so we are based, based out of Mysore in Karnataka and we have our own 5G test bed. So this is a picture of 5G test bed, uh, which is used for education purpose. So if you see here, I've written the use cases. So we use it for EMBB focused uh, configuration, some kind of testing and all that. Uh, mainly used for education and research. And uh, we have collaborated with the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. Uh, Department of Science and Technology has funded this program. And uh, we are based at SJC Step Mysore. Uh, 